everybody crazy? Everybody stand, stand up. <laughs> I just saw it. Itchy bumps and got shit. <laughs> I just and you guys. <laughs> You're just excited. I'm sorry. What are you staring at? We're okay. <clears throat> I'm watching our our dude play Dark Souls. Last time on <laughs> Zadus Ball Z. Dragon Ball <laughs> Zadus. <laughs> oh, that's what the Z stands for. <laughs> no, no, no. Totally not just let's pick a cool letter like they did with Sailor Moon S. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna know. You Unahard Princess V. Oh, Unahard <laughs> Princess V! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now that we've got the minute of flack out of the way. <laughs> the wind and snow howl all around. The maggot magus, his vision blocked from him as he's handled roughly. A voice speaks to him. What it is, Nikolai? He asked you a question. He shakes the magus. Where is Nikolai? Uh, Nick, was he uh one of the? I'm sorry. Who are you? <laughs> My name not important. Where is Nikolai? He came this direction, and I find you instead of him. What you do with him? Uh, we ran into no one who identified themselves as Nikolai, unless I do not remember, and we killed him. <laughs> Don't say that! <laughs> Too bad I said it! You don't hear uh, another voice, which is totally not the same as the first voice. In fact, it's far more feminine than the first voice. Speak out. Michael, what have you found? <laughs> Alright. My Russian's bad. Miller's yeah. good, keep going. Right, cool. <laughs> go, go, go. I found spy for white witches. He has bangle on arm. He might have summoned the mantis. He's not answering my questions. No, the mantis? We defeated the mantis. Shut up, liar. <laughs> <laughs> the well, fe the female it. voice calls, calls out again. The stop. <laughs> The storm is coming in too quickly. We need to get back to cave. Bring the him with you. And, uh... Take me with you. Take me with you. <laughs> he handedly shoves you in one direction and starts just, like, pushing you. Clearly, uh, Double X is resisting. <laughs> He's resisting arrest. He's got a gun. <laughs> oh. I I I I I won't, I won't resist, but I will say one thing. I'll say, well, if you won't listen to the voice of truth, then there is no reasoning with you. Ha 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 ha. He says, completely getting dragged away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I, at least I have my honor. <laughs> this boy is crazy. <laughs> so Axel, <laughs> Axel and Huckleberry are looting a corpse of a mantis and a dead body. And Axel looks up, and he sees Dan being handily pushed away by a uh, rush-looking man. <laughs> man with uh, big hit. Okay. Oh wait, are you talking to yeah. me? Yeah, Axel. I can hear. Him? No, you can. No, <laughs> I'm saying you see a man with big hit. Oh, okay. I thought it was addressing me. I'm like, I don't have that big of a. <laughs> No. Um, Axel exhausted and everything. He looks to Heikelberry and he he said, or Heikelberry, I don't care. And he's like, uh, oh, <laughs> Dan's getting taken. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Level of concern. <laughs> Axel, him. Axel oh, no. just kind of pauses. He's and like, he's he's struggling off the, the corpse in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Axel is just kind of pushing Heckleberry's face away from like the the dead body so that he can properly loot it as long as possible. So like Huckleberry's like going at it with his face and Axel's just like, no wait, stop, that, stop. I'm like palming the face and I'm just like, no, no, <laughs> no. Uh, you find on right. him some average battle gear, um, about six silver. 
Um, not much. This act stuff actually looks pretty shoddy. Alright, well, Axel is just gonna pocket the silver for right now and make his way toward the... Actually, no. What is it? Axel is gonna... Uh... Take his sword, his broad sword, his whatever sword he has, and, like, kind of cut off the head of the mantis. You're a sickle? I don't have that. Oh. Oh, the sword of the warrior dude? Mm -hmm. He's got a, a dulled short sword, but yeah, you can cut off the head of the mantis. Oh, I just meant my sword, but yeah, okay. I, did, did you, you totally have a sword? Use... I've had a sword and a dagger. Could totally you use have. Jelly's like battle axe or nice whatever. Axe. Oh, that's I right. Can't you use jelly battle axe. You have a cold iron <laughs> long sword, but where'd you get it from? I got it from the nice old man. Hold on, wait. I wrote a note about it. Um, axe. Oh, the dwarf. Yes. Old man Dabsby. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. The dwarf gave it to me that I, like, helped out. Yeah, the dwarf that you carried into town in the first episode. Flashback. I take out the sword that I've had this whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's good against Bay and fairies. Yeah. Oh, is it? <laughs> anyway. Cold iron is good against Fey and devils. I'll remember that for later. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure we'll need it later. Yeah, later. Yeah. <laughs> In case. I cut off the head of the mantis and I throw it towards Heikelberry because I know that Heikelberry can't eat it. Because it tried. I mean, it could probably eat the inside. You kind could, of like scoop out You the underestimate Heikelberry, I think, but. <laughs> I don't think Heikelberry's going to eat the shell, but then again, I don't know. I mean, I, I cut off the head and at some point or another we run after Dan or something like that for I don't know how long depending on how long I can keep vision of him. Okay. Um, We're gonna try... Axel's gonna try and keep a fairly nice distance away from them so that he can see, because clearly it's a storm and they're not gonna be, like, interrogating him outside, so they're probably going for shelter. No, you see, uh, actually exactly where they're headed. There is a cave in the, uh, mountainside, or the hillside. Mm -hmm. There's a cave up ahead, and a female, um, with a big fluffy hat disappears into it first and then Dan and his captor follow uh, as you, you get about halfway to it before your eyes begin to strain really badly um, <clears throat> how well is Heikelberry how well is your uh, sense of direction Jelly well, that, that tells you something. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> How well is your sense of direction? Uncle Jelly is now playing Dark Souls. Pretty good. <laughs> Prepare to die edition. <laughs> <laughs> How well is your sense of direction, Heikelberry? Pretty good. Axel, um, kind of notions, puts, um, Lee and... What am I saying? <laughs> puts Axel and Heikelberry in a kind of a direct path and says, like, keep walking forward, I have to, like, hold on to you. <laughs> keep he, like, moving on. He, like, rips off the... Not rips off, but he, like, takes off the goggles from his eyes and just... Where everything was crisp and, like, you could see every snowflake uh, without blind eyes on, uh, the strain has made your vision extremely blurry. You can still make out Huckleberry, you can still see it, you know that it's a Huckleberry, but... Mainly just because it's a blue thing, a thing with blue hair that you have your hand on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna roll the deactivation thing. And so for uh, one turn, it looks, mm -hmm. or two. I rolled the other one before by accident, but I mean, take whichever one you want. Okay. Um. Didn't we decide that it was like however long you have them on? I thought it was just, I was reading up on it and it said based off of the rule. I don't know. Okay, so we'll go with that for now then. That, that's what I made my thing off of. Okay, yeah. After you take them off. Yeah, so you're, you're impaired just for a little bit. Um. Do we make it to the Jelly? Top cave? Can I have yeah. Huckleberry roll a survival check don't mess this up for me survival. you have a plus two uh, uh do i yes no 
I have a plus six. Oh, I must have an old nope. sheet then. Very old, apparently. I can find you guys' actual sheets. <laughs> anyway, I shoot up. I shoot up. Okay. Uh, Jelly is a motorboat. Mm. <laughs> you know, I... Uh, zoom in. <laughs> okay. All right. So we'll find out where exactly you guys end up. Oh God! Wait, I didn't see what the roll was. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it wasn't bad. And switch <laughs> the camera over. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> this is your life we're trying to save here. <laughs> Be grateful yeah, I'm I, even coming at all. I, I, I have no communication with you whatsoever. I have no idea what you're trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> Would you hope that we were coming to save you? I don't, I don't even know that you know that I'm gone. You don't know that they know what you don't know? I know go. what they know what, that we don't know that they know. Wait, I don't know what I don't know. I cannot see anything. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh wait, is this my vision? No, no, no. This is <laughs> this is Dan's vision, but uh, he can he can see himself. Actually, I'll, I'll oh, let pretty good I'll let all of oh, y'all. Can you guys not see me? Can you guys not see me? Yeah. Oh, I can't see him. I when you said this is Dan's vision, it was just black. Might as well just see me, because there's not much to see. There you go. Ah, uh, look at him. Okay. Ah, oh, look. At him. I'm gonna give a couple uh, of these my... guys torches. Do you mind poking a, a hole for air? It's getting kind of musty in here. <laughs> <laughs> he said it was filled with dignity. And they <laughs> stab a knife through the bag. <laughs> <laughs> that was my eye, good sir. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the hole, but now I need an awesome eye patch. Whoa! Whoa, Whoa. shoot. Is that Lucian? So Dan yeah. takes no. a... Uh, <laughs> uh, Dan feels the thing ripped off of his head and he sees two men with torches. And one female. Can I do anything for you? Smooth talk your way out of this. <laughs> yeah. Are they twins? Or triplets? Are they hot? They are grunts, yeah, so I'm not male. bothering to get them all their own separate picture. <laughs> <laughs> one's Das, the other is Vas, and the other one's Tras. There you go. <laughs> Vas, Tras, Das. Oh, and Nikolai. <laughs> Nikolai. <laughs> he is our stepbrother. <laughs> so how are you going to so talk? The, uh, I'm waiting for them to say something. The female speaks for them. So, what were you doing up there in the cold? I told you, we, uh, me and my friends just killed the mantis. She gives you a hard stare. Hmm. I know I'm attractive, but say something. <laughs> <laughs> do, do his charm. Roll for charm. No, God, no. Do, it. do you have okay, what, what is, any proof no that you <laughs> killed the mantis? No, I don't. I, I do not. I got separated from my party. Uh, the man to the north speaks up. Look, he has injury. Mini injury. And she looks close and she sees where you were scratched and clawed by the mantis. Some of your clothes are actually torn. Kinky. Mm. Hmm. It seems you fought, creature. I apologize for the rough treatment you've had so far. My name is Nadia Petska. This is Mikel. And this is the Colonel. Greetings, Lady Petska. <laughs> Great, that's all uh, I do of them. Pleasure to make to meet your acquaintance. The other guy to is standing watch with his back. <laughs> to make your acquaintance. <laughs> to make your acquaintance. <laughs> uh, now that you have a chance to look around, there is um, several dog, several like sleds and some dogs outside. Ah. Uh, oh. And these sleds all are piled high with stuff that are covered by tarps. So what are you doing all the way out here in the first wood? We came here 
from a faraway land. Flashback. <laughs> and so Dan told of the story and the journey, the that many is. tales they had, the adventure they had been on thus forth, the friends they made, the friends they lost, and of their new mythic past. Except that I didn't say anything of that. <laughs> I just said he was thinking from a faraway land. He was thinking about it, and then what's cold. <laughs> the hills to the <laughs> north. The hills to the north, or the cities to the east. The sky. Cities to the east. Oh. Which city? He thinks about it for a second. Thinks he should actually, if he should actually tell the truth. And he says, a bit farther to the east and a bit south too. Heldren. <laughs> Heldren. I've not heard of this place. It's a very far away place. Oh, look, it's our neighbor. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you have no melt. Did you walk here? And it's about that time that Axel and Huckleberry stumble <laughs> through. <laughs> Crash the <nuts>. door. <laughs> Hands ablaze and. <laughs> <laughs> actually. Actually. <laughs> so the man uh, to the north turns around. Nadia, we have company. How Jelly many people are out here on the mountain today? Clearly three. <laughs> One of them is Gold Touch. Get your weapons. Gold, gold Touch didn't sound like... Winter Touch, actually. No, I <laughs> know. Hmm. I'm what sorry. My comrades? I did not catch your name. My name is Dan. Dan. And I believe... And I believe the people that you see out there may, in fact, be my comrades. Comrades. The ones who defeated the, the one who def the ones who defeated the, the mantis with me. You are Christ. friends with Winter Touched. Does this mean you work for White it Witches? I do not. I, as a matter of fact, it's a very long story. She escaped. Jelly, you're com you're com you're complicating things. Roll a diplomacy check. Ah uh, no. <laughs> I believe I don't know what my diplomacy is. Can you check, please? I see it as a one. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> you have very honest Shit, face, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, put away your weapons. Let them in. I trust this man. <laughs> uh, she then drops her pants and then <laughs> <laughs> wow. me. Take me man. <laughs> <laughs> Take me now. I warm your bed at night. Uh <laughs> Clearly, so, uh, everybody else was also swayed. <gasps> Axel and Huckleberry. Uh, a man comes out. He has a sword in his sheath, and he says, "Come into our cave. Storm is coming." Thank you very much. Axel stumbles over something on the floor. <laughs> okay. Dan gives them sort of. Uh, <coughs> Dan. Dan is still. Oh, feeling... I can see myself. Dan is. Dan gives them sort of a. Sort of like a look like everything is okay. Like, how do I have red? Like, just like a little bit of knots, like, it's okay, come in, you know. This is oh, my domain. <laughs> I am in control of the situation. I figured out my red's my AC. I'm so That's because you put 20 out of 20, so it creates a bar if you put a second number. Oh my god. Then, who are your fins? Associates of mine, we all have the same goal. Yeah, she looks over to the two of you. <gasps> what goal is this? Who is she addressing? Uh, pretty much all three of you. <coughs> ah, I'm sorry, it's customary where I come from to uh, address the person as a name before we start answering questions. I am Axel. It's nice ah, to ah, meet ah. you, Axel. I am Nadia Petska. Hello, Nadia. This is our friend, uh, Heichel Huckle Hickleberry. Heichel <laughs> <laughs> Huckle Hickle. Honestly, I forget myself sometimes, which value. Forgive Axel, for, for, forgive Axel, he seems to have a case of the hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky you run into us when traveling with Winter Touch. The people of Waldsby do not take kindly to such demons. Well, is that is that the town that's nearby here? 
Yes, we are headed here now. This uh, food is for Pale Tower. <clears throat> the what is for Pale Tower? Sorry. Good. Okay. It's food. She. Axel. Uh, Oh, okay. She relaxes, but we cannot leave those storm passes, so we should make ourselves comfortable for now. <clears throat> well, with all this time we have, how about we answer each other's questions? You go, then I go, then you go, etc., etc. One question apiece. Answer honestly. I like this plan. I do too. As you were. So. How did you get here? <clears throat> How did we get here from to the cave to <laughs> this where we old found you? Mar model. From where we found you? Dan, oh, Dan from Axel. where you found Dan? Yes. Dan gives Dan gives Axel look like it's okay. You can tell them it's whatever. <clears throat> and I, <laughs> we came from what's the place called? Hedrin. Heldrin. 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 We came from Heldrin, the border wood. Yes, but near the border wood. Hmm. Well, I see you had no mounts. Did you look here? Uh, no. <laughs> Axel will say, assuming... He, he, since you say that you could trust her, Axel assumes that you yeah. already told her everything and says we actually came from a portal. And it dropped us in the middle of this area. The portal? Radro sex portal? That is... That does not bode well. If you use White Witch's portal, I, I trust you less, but... If you come through from other side... Radro sex has been sending minions through portal, wherever it goes. If Radro sex men are there, is not a place I want to be. They're not there anymore. <laughs> One of his men... What do you mean you but this? Actually, wait. What? I have... It's too many questions. It's your turn. Ah, yes. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> why did you uh, carry away our good friend here? You he look suspicious. Michael is uh, hot-tempered in these cold lands. Ah, as you have to be to survive. Yes. And uh, Nikolai. Who is Nikolai? Nikolai was our companion. He had gone out, we've not found him since. Ah, uh, I think we found him. <laughs> she <laughs> looks at you. That axle little red jelly. <laughs> she looks at you quickly. <laughs> what do you mean by this? Uh, Axel basically says along the lines of, we found him in the clutches of the giant brain mantis thing. See, I told you it was mantis. Shut up. <laughs> It spoke to me. <laughs> Not really. I don't know if it did actually. It's so same mantis that Dan says you kill. Yes. It is dead, and Axel rolls the head toward him. Or I don't know. It's pr it's probably a pretty big head, so I would assume that it's, we would know to like, it if anything. It's about a football and a half. Oh, okay. We like roll it towards them, or Axel rolls it towards them. Nadia, oh, all of them look down at it, and then Nadia looks back up. I see this is true then. Then you have my thanks for getting rid of such a menace. No problem. Our mission is to get rid of this menace and many more. Did you say menace or mantis? <laughs> menace. <laughs> this menace and many more. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean Sweet. by That's many fun. more? Okay. Are you insect hunters? Come mm -hmm. out here to hunt animals? Get trophies? Dan hesitates for a while and then says, No, we are investigating the takings of several people and the spreading of the cold throughout the world. He's We're also hunters. He's always cold in Ireson. <laughs> Not where we're from. And suddenly it's become cold there. Mm. It's kind of nippy. I cannot Could say I, I know much of this news, but it's troubling. If Radrosek or indeed the princess 
he's expanding the gold we we will be fine uh, Iorcin is you know, known for gold we are very used to it but if we spread to other parts of the world we are more heinous than I already believe they are to be mm. do you know where we could find the great Baba Yaga <laughs> they all exchange <laughs> lots it's interesting you ask that. She has come every hundred years since Earthfall, but she is preceded by three riders the red, the white, and the black. Hey, Did we meet any? Which was our rider, the white? You had the black rider. Oh, okay. Sexy. But the princess. Baba Yaga's daughter, who was put on the throne 99 and a living months ago, captured and killed both of the white and the red riders. We are not sure what happened to the black, but Colonel here says that he saw him. Why do you ask about Baba Yaga? It is disturbing indeed. The princess was supposed to be taken off the throne and replaced by a younger daughter, Baba Yaga. Has been since age of days. Unfortunately, the Black Rider is no more. How do you know this? He in we... his dying breath. <laughs> Go ahead, Dan. <laughs> we met it. We we met him, and we are here to carry out his mission. We are here to see that Baba Yaga's duty is fulfilled and the, and the throne is replaced. <laughs> Dude. You have lofty goal. I do not know if I believe you. It's, it, it is too much madness. The goal Can uh, is... Axel use his last um, surge to like prove it? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. What would you? Yeah, what would look you, at my roll. It's great. What would you like to do? <laughs> Who me? Yeah, I, I won't make you um, spend a mythic point on it, but you can like do kind of a feat of mythicness. <laughs> mhm. Mm um, the color is like blue or whatever when it like happens, right? Yeah. So Axel's just kind of. Actually, I, I guess think the, like, I think I made Huckleberry blue, Dan yellow, and you green. Or no, Dan green oh, and you what? yellow. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Because double X. Oh. But my, my, my arcade, my arcade aura was already blue. Um, Axel asks if they recognize the power of, uh, the Black Horseman if they were to see it. It would take a lot of convincing, but, uh, I've not seen the power of the Black Rider myself, to be honest. I know the Riders are powerful, and the fact that all three are dead does not bode well. Right, well, Axel's gonna try and use the theoretically used surge. And what kind of like what feat would you like to do? What like, do how mean? are you gonna show off? Like glowing hands, glowing eyes, or shoot something? Or uh, I was Expl just gonna kind of like the magic set. I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna power <laughs> maybe I was just gonna try powering up like Dragon Ball Z style. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Dun, Look, dun, I dun, 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 I, I have the power to bleach my hair in an instant. I thought it was Dragon Ball Z, your hair. <laughs> Dragon Ball bleach. Believe it. Um. <laughs> and that was all three of them. Oh, wait. Uh, and we're on a ship. Yo, ho. Uh, <laughs> so the three of them back up against the wall a little bit. By the goods. You have the power! No, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, man! <laughs> of the universe. And it cutscenes to uh, Castle Grayskull after that. <laughs> the Pale Tower. Yeah! Dressed up what do we to do? <laughs> <I'm T -Axel. laughs> the, the Pale Tower dressed up as Castle Grayskull. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Michael Berry! 
touches like go. shoots energy with sword turns into a giant mountable cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait! <hey. laughs> Where'd you go off to? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm there you are. All right. Let's talk about the game of cat and moose. Cat, cat and moose. Cat and moose. <laughs> So they believe us now, yes. more or less, right? Okay, then Dan, Dan brings up. Uh, how do, okay, what what are your intentions, and how do we know that you can tr we can trust you? We don't. It would be troublesome if this information were to spread. Certainly would be. I uh, I am traded. My coffers are full to feeling with food. You see, I have three children, two boys, very good boys, and uh. one daughter. She uh. is. Uh, Less good, but I love her lots. Is she hot? Oh, oh! She is young, very young. My sweet uh. Annabelle was taken from me when I was up trading, getting food for Wadsby. Ah. Uh. She was taken to the Bear Tower, I, I, I... and he immediately went to go beg for her release. They said, if I bring back more food than I ever had before, or for the Bear Tower, then they will let my Annabelle go. It took a long time, I traded many things. And Waltzby will have to go without. But... My family, I, I love them too much, I cannot... Uh, it's so sad! <laughs> She's just trying to get her daughter back. <laughs> it sounds like your dear Annabelle is taken... Uh, along this... That's what I want to use here. Captain. But was taken for the same unknown reason that the rest of the pe people were taken. That we, you know, what I mean, yeah. Perhaps. We we see we we seek to get them back. It would be good Excellent. of you to do so. She, um, Nadia, who's covered in furs and actually has a couple of weapons on her, uh, takes out. A uh, reaches into her pack and takes out a little stuffed bear. Oh, stop! This is Annabelle. <laughs> I hope to give it back to her. The little tibbers, she calls it. <laughs> god. Oh, no. oh my god, Annabelle! Oh. Oh, it's all coming together now. Nadia looks solemnly down at the doll. And uh, can we can we all have like a grave look on our face when we realize suddenly that oh. Oh wait, did we do that to her? <gasps> no! No, wait, no, she was already a ghost when we found her. No! <laughs> but still! I don't know! Is Dan something matter? A single tear drops from Axel's face and to the floor as it freezes. Dan, Dan looks to the ground. And, and he, 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 he doesn't want to say anything, but, he, but he's sworn to the truth. You know what I mean? So he's like, we fear that your Annabelle may be no more. Oh, what do you get? They she got to her. looks aghast. What do you mean? How, how would you possibly know this? We encountered her in Heldrin in a... in a spiritly form. I can't handle this. <laughs> she stares this at you. This is the next bit of bad news we've given this person and all she's <laughs> given us is not killing us. <laughs> she looks at you with an icy stare. She looks a combination of furious and ain't furious and sorrowful. And then the man from outside speaks up. We have another visitor. Oh, God damn! Who is it this time? I don't We're know. Winter touched. Looks like a, a devil. She's flying towards us very quickly. We do not know this person. <laughs> Axel's gonna quickly take a swig of his last health potion. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! Shoot! How much am I approximately at? Oh shoot! I need help. Do I have any more? I don't think I have any more. Oh no. <laughs> uh, let's see. Dan has one potion left. Uh, <laughs> Axel also has one potion left. Go, 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 go. I can <laughs> <take> it. <laughs> oh my goodness, you both heal 11. 
Yes! Yay! No, I... Are you not so excited as me? <laughs> I rolled... No, I rolled max on both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 14 now, awesome. I'm, I'm approximately 14 out of 20 now. Uh, at 13, actually, kind of muffles the uh, uh, dance mouth. Not now, we're in front of guests. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, Dan, give sort of a please look to Axel like you're finding the correct path. <laughs> <laughs> Hold weapons, he... He cannot do this right now. And... She... Uh, the... This thing descends upon you. I don't, I don't see anything. Flying into the cave. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the wind comes in with her. And... Oh, it's a... Witch. <laughs> ah, ah, it is such a reprieve to be out from the snow. Who are you? And she, which one of you is in charge around here? I. We're not gonna say anything right now until we figure out if it's good or bad. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait we're trying to figure out who this is. This is Navi or something. Yeah, it's something. Um, what are you doing? You trying to figure out what the sprite's from? <laughs> this is the important thing right now. Clearly, it's not oh, okay. their friends. Okay. Because uh, what is it? They don't like wouldn't or touch people as it is. So otherwise, they would have made note of it. Okay. Well, that well, uh, Dan, Dan, Dan recognizes that uh, Nadia is is in a state where she can't say anything. Oh, right now, so she she's, she's gonna respond, up. but I'm putting yeah. Nadia in your journal oh, really okay. quick. Oh. Okay. Dan, I, well, Dan was about to step up. <laughs> I, I know, I, I need like, to stop that before that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, well, Dan gets ready to stand up. Oh, step up or stand up? Um, You're already stop. standing, aren't you? Okay, fine, step up. I, Nadia Petsky. Ah, <laughs> oh, how Petsky. wonderful. I am Muriel. I'm... <laughs> I'm only three and a half years old. <laughs> I'm headed to the Pale Tower. But I hope to hit your hospitality before I reach oh. there. The... We have, is it me that's broken or is it the rest of the world? What? I, I think I'm broken. Yeah, you're kind of broken. Can you yeah. hear me? I can hear, yeah, we can. I can hear both of you. Oh shoot. This is like the reverse robot -y thing. Everyone else is robot -y, not me. Except for when you're talking about with us, in which case... Exactly. Alright, so she descends and... Introduces herself as Muriel. Adeline. I can barely hear you guys. Axel speaks up and says, Uh, I am Axel, this is Dan, and that is Heiko Bear. <laughs> um, as Muriel looks over to you, you see Nadia with kind of a scared look on her face, and she kind of gives you the, like, crossing across, like... Not friend face? Yeah, like it... Watch your, watch your shit. <laughs> I wonder if I can do something rash before Double X gets back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He usually likes being involved with the rashness, but <laughs> uh, can't hear nothing. Oh, good. Oh, cool. You can hear everything. <laughs> anyway, so let's see. Um, Axel speaks up and says, "What, what business do you have here with these good people?" Oh, I'm just taking a break from the storm. I'm a guest of honor at the Pale Tower. I'm going to ch um, visit with Radros there. Yes, it is uh, a horrible... What are you guys doing here? We are delivering food to Pale Tower. Uh, as you can see, I have many loads. It will take us uh, another day to get there, though. We cannot uh, f ride as quickly as you can fly. Yes, of course, and that's why we're here, to help them. Roll a bluff check. Oh, no, no, she says, and who are you? We're here. What? We are hired hands to come and help them. Uh, yes, my, uh, my cousins from other town. <laughs> other town, yes. So, <laughs> Dan, Dan, Dan speaks up and says, they call me Pat, and they, they call me Pat Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> My nickname back home is <laughs> So go ahead and uh, Axel and Dan It looks like you're assisting her with this bluff check Mm-hmm. Oh, what's my bluff? I don't know 
I don't think I have a buff, so is it just 1d20 plus high. whatever my charisma is, which is a 1? Yeah. What about me? Uh, Dan, What's Dan, I see you as a 1. Cool. God! Uh. Axel sneezes. <laughs> <laughs> she looks at you. Axel sneezes. She looks at you quizzically and then back at Nadia. Well. All the same, then. And she walks over to one of the, uh, carts. As it's for the Pale Tower, this is, of course, mine, may I? And she goes to lift one of the, uh, tarps. Um, of course, I see no reason why we should deny you. And as she goes <laughs> to take one of the, uh, she takes an apple out from under it, and Nadia just looks, like, furiously towards you guys, like, well, she looks mad, but she doesn't look mad at you. She's she lets being you mad. See well, it's her mad. Uh, Axel steps in, or speaks up before uh, she says something, uh, before she picks anything. Uh, wait, did we already have her name? Muriel. Oh, yeah. She said, no, you wouldn't want to do that. We, we want to make sure that everything gets there promptly and uh, quickly. We would so. like to deliver it personally to the palace. We wouldn't want uh, anything to go unthought of or uncounted for. We would like, yeah. We would like to carry out our end of the bargain in, oh or in order for us to get paid. Oh my God! You could like fucking like clean potter. You could clean plates with like the amount of steam coming out of my ass. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <Come> from. <laughs> Yeah, um, hmm. I'm breaking just certainly go on. one apple wouldn't go amiss. Should uh, I'm sure, but still, wouldn't you rather have it while it's uh, a bit more room temperature? I don't know. <laughs> looking at the frost thing, that's clearly <laughs> not a good idea. Hakawir is just looking at the apple like, <laughs> go get it, go get it. Are you gonna <laughs> die for the apple? <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. <laughs> if you want to, I can let you roll a grapple check. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Axel just kind of like swatting the swatting Heikelberry away, which is obviously making her like hungrier. Until you eventually rage, rage for the apple. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna do it? I don't know. What do I roll? You roll one d twenty plus five. <laughs> Wait, if it if he rages, can it increase it? Yeah, it'll be a one d twenty plus eight. <laughs> Is this chivalry? Uh, okay. But I do have I do have that mystic power to increase it, don't I? What do it. <laughs> Reroll the twenty. <laughs> Go again. ahead and roll one d six. One d six. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Come on, not a one, anything above that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is anything above it, isn't it? Well, in fact, 14. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Don't tell. Oh. Uh, what have I done? <laughs> uh, Huckleberry rages and goes for the. You know what? Hold on. Let me see if I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> You start eating all the food, and <laughs> no, just that. Just that okay, that's a that's a raging okay. jelly. <laughs> <laughs> you dive her for the apple, and you, you knock her against the rock, and Nadia takes out her hand axe. Kill her before she gets away. <laughs> New, and everybody roll initiative. Okay, I just managed to reconnect. Can you give me the rundown? So, <laughs> she reached for an apple. Huckleberry was looking at the apple quite hungrily. Uh, Axel tried to not let her have the apple. And then Huckleberry is not letting her have the apple. And raged and dove her. And everybody's rolling into <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, alright. Sure. 
secretly, actually, this whole time was seems, egg gone. Seems like the typical way is our fight start. <laughs> Hackleberry tries to eat something, and then somebody gets mad about it. <laughs> Why does it always have to be someone's kid or something? <laughs> it was just an apple this time. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I already have macro. Right. Right. Jelly's using macros, the world's coming to an end. Oh. Whoop whoop. Pull over that ass too fat. Whoop whoop. Pull over that ass too fat. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Wait, should I probably... <laughs> I should probably do that, right? I mean, yeah. Doesn't matter. Uncle Jay is raging. A jelly. Hey. <laughs> you got it. Jelly, now that you're raging, you have to make sure that Heckleberry rages. Oh, right. Does it matter? No. <laughs> okay, but you should probably change it. <coughs> Double X. What? I did change it. I rolled initiative. I know, but you switch back to Double X instead of Dan. Uh, well, I... Yeah, okay, I'll do it again if you want. No, 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 no. Just change it. Yeah, it's changed, it's changed. <laughs> Quickly, my comrades. <laughs> Get it before it gets away. Stab it in the stomach! <laughs> Eat its entrails! <laughs> is she just alone, right? Oh, Jelly is red? What the heck? Why is Jelly just yeah, raging? I'm raging. Oh. I thought that meant she was like bleeding or something. <laughs> Nadia! Oh. Please notify the site owner. Oh, video stream failed. To... <laughs> well, on one computer, Double X's video stream failed to connect, but on the other one, it's fine. Clearly, that happened, that's that happened, not the case. Unfortunately, that happened to me with that happened to me with Axel's thing just before I re refreshed it. Unfortunately, oh, the okay. one that it's failing on is the one that's being recorded for YouTube. Uh, that's okay. It's not that so, bad. We can fix it. You you could refresh it. That fixed it for me. I'm not willing to refresh the entire thing because if you really, Nadia if you really... takes out her hand oh, axe okay. and her pick and her light pick, one in each hand, and she says. If she gets away now, she'll tell the Pale Tower of your arrival. Yes, us humble pack mules. <laughs> <laughs> she will not forgive this insult. Probably not. <laughs> and it's Huckleberry's turn. That's it? Oh, she took it out. I guess. She took out two I'm weapons. That was two I'm move good. actions. Oh, okay. Fast. I'm gonna do this. Uh, this. Ah. Well, my God. Huckleberry oh, yeah, takes his uh, great axe research. Oh, no, double axe is and tight. swings, crushing into the rock and breaking a little bit behind her. Is that your? This is what I can do. Be scared. <laughs> <laughs> this could have been your face. <laughs> Would you like to do anything else? Uh, Yell your battle cry. I'm gonna move back one, maybe. I thought we were talking, why would you have your sword out? Oh, okay, you took it out when they were coming, you're saying. Where are you going? I always have my sword, my XO. <laughs> when you're not trying to eat something? And it is Dan's turn. <laughs> you know, I thought I rolled fairly well in initiative, but clearly everybody else can just suck a dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> except for, except for... Muriel. Shouldn't... Just... Shouldn't thingy be, you like, for me? 23? She was. She took out both her battle axes and... Oh, oh crap. Her hand axe and her light pick. Um... That's what I meant. Can I use arcane pool and attack? Yeah. So yeah, you get rid of one point from your arcane pool to gain one to your attack. Is it attack and damage or just one? Yes, one attack and damage. Alright, so go for it. Isn't it convenient you can use your staircase to hit her? And um, kill the uh, colonel outside then, uh, too. No, he's not. That wouldn't beat him. Because there's a staircase. It goes up like this, doesn't it? I could you use mean mushroom cloud? Me. No. I can't I exactly would, see. Because staircase would. Like that. What about mushroom cloud? I don't know. No, staircase would. Wait, does it start up higher? Staircase would be. I can't see it, Stark. I'm gonna let this drive. No, no, I can't see either. See, that would be staircase. Can you see that? 
I thought that was Mushroom Cloud. Oh wait, no, I see it now. Never mind. I get it now. Okay. Well. Oh, oh, oh! Pick me! Pick me! What are you doing? Oh wait, no, it's not my turn. I can't use it. I was just gonna. I'm just, I'm, I'll, I'll just straight up attack her. Straight up attack. Go for it. Wait, with with the arcane pool, obviously. So you can I just roll this and then add plus one to attack and damage. There sure. you go. Damn. 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 That was some nice attack and nice damage. Okay, then, hits. uh, who has his long sword out during every conversation? <laughs> no, it's because, remember, because, like, who's in charge here, and then I was going to defend her. Cause it seemed like yeah, but then, like, attack. she was just talking for a while, and you still had your sword out. I Damn, guess, like, yeah. having your sword out. That's a fair point. I would have put my sword away then, but I, was, I, I, I was mute then. I actually was actually not even in the call at that point, so. <laughs> okay, so. But he already attacked. Dan strikes at her. And makes a deep crimson cut across her. Was it awesome? Was there a, like slow motion effects and stuff? He actually cool. because. Do you plan on moving? Because if you don't, then that means you could take out your sword, and as you unsheathe it, you just like cut her upward, as you like are readying your Sick weapon. Style. Just. <laughs> oh, that's all. Awesome. All right, let's do that. Cool. Then, if it doesn't change anything. No. So it <laughs> that is now Axel's turn. <laughs> It adds more badassery to your moves. Axel lights his hands up. All right. That's a move action, yep. right? And fires his whole blade. Flame on. Flame on. <laughs> Pew. It didn't make that sound. It was more like. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it's not a pew pew. <laughs> I swear it's not a pew pew. Uh, Axel hits her solidly into the chest, and she goes back against the rock. Ah. Let's rape her. <laughs> Would Axel like to do? Yes. Oh, that's a move action to equip, and then a standard action to fire. All right. Dan takes offense to the words, but then realizes he's still in combat. <laughs> Muriel. Axel. Brush, we're not letting this one live. Muriel brushes herself off. Brushes herself <laughs> <Yeah>. off. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Radrasek will hear this. Who's Radrasek? <laughs> He has a funny name. I mean, let's hope you live to tell him about this. Or let's not <laughs> hope. <laughs> Insult to the Pale Tower will not go unnoticed. Your face will not go unnoticed. And... So help me if she runs away. She goes to run away. <laughs> Dan and God. Jelly, you both get an attack of opportunity. Murder her! <laughs> Okay, so is it just like a normal attack? Yeah. My god, what is with my rolls? You didn't roll all the ones out. And Dan? Ones. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's a 1 and a 0 in both of those. Wait, I can still do a 1d6. Right? Yeah, you can use your last one. Oh, this That's... is just ridiculous. That sexy noise. Honestly, I don't know if that would have hit. That's not going to be enough. <laughs> That's not nearly. <laughs> Whatever. Attack of a protunity. Spelt wrong. Roll sword. Roll sword. Attack. Pulls. Just, 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 just do the fire thing. I don't care if I get hit. Just do it. Jelly says, burn it. He doesn't care if he gets hit. That's why I'm typing to you. Oh my god. <laughs> Not just me. <laughs> Not just me. Hizzleberry says, fire her hands, burn me. And her. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Sign language it is. I say something long lines of, nah, 
It ain't fair to hurt him, and I attack with sword. This is no. <laughs> Curse you! Oh, oh, good attitude. To be honest, you wouldn't even hit Huckleberry if you used Mushroom Cloud. Yeah, well. Oh. No, 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 use Mushroom, use Mushroom, use Mushroom! <laughs> use Mushroom! <laughs> Won't hit me! <laughs> mushroom? No! <laughs> <coughs> Alright, uh, plus one, plus one. And I are kind of dead on the inside. <laughs> Asshole swing, uh, Dan swings with his sword and does not manage to hit the flitting away humanoid. <sighs> Double X. <laughs> she heads out. No! Is she still there? Uh, Nadia runs over and throws her pickaxe, like, outside. <laughs> Does it connect? She throws her hand axe, actually. You're not sure. We walk outside, she's dead with that hand axe in her head. Axel? Damn. Or, no. Uh, Axel? Or, actually, no. Uh -huh. Huckle Huckleberry? Chase it! <laughs> you can see it's going into the air, into um, like upward into the snow. It's kind of hard to can see. Can I leap it? Can I leap and attack? It would be difficult, but go for it. Do it. Be a so man. You'd roll an roll acrobatics roll and then a melee attack. Acrobatics. Where's my acrobatics? My acrobatics is seven. Athletics. Sorry. Hey, acrobatics is jumping, isn't it? Athletics is running. Um, acrobatics is tumbling, athletics is the strength in your legs. You have a plus seven to that too, anyway. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Guess it doesn't matter then. Uh, so 1d20 plus seven. Ah, uh, it's gonna be another low. Oh no, that's pretty good. Okay, now give me an attack. This is where you roll low. This is, yeah, yeah, this is where, that's where I roll. Oh, Do you have any more switch? Hmm. Hmm. What? Wait, do I do I connect? What? Do I? Hmm. Do I connect? Axel. Wait, since, since that last. Since since that last one. What? Uh. I, sh I should have known that it wouldn't connect. I don't know. Axel. I don't know. Hmm? Why don't you will a mythic point towards Hickleberry? I can do that? Not usually. No. I am willing so hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> so what do I have six? to roll? You don't. Okay. I'm willing so fucking hard right now. Like... It, I don't care if it costs me, like, half of my health just to make this cannon. I'm willing, ha like, this mythic point towards Jelly. Alright, roll... Take... Roll 1d6 of bleed damage. Bleed damage? Yeah. <laughs> Axel, like, sees Huckleberry jumping into the air, and, like, it's straining his eyes so much, but he reaches his hand out, and, like, some power siphons out from him, and he takes four points of damage... Huckleberry, roll 1d6. Don't fail me! Uh. <laughs> uh. I'm okay. That's it! <laughs> Huckleberry's axe catches her, like, in the back of the leg, in the tendon, and he drags her all the way to the floor <laughs> with yes. max damage, and she lands on a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jelly roll 1d6. You take 1d6, you take 6 fall damage. Oh shit. Oh, wow. I, okay. It's okay. But she does not get up. 
<laughs> uh, we're gonna end combat rounds. So, so I hit her leg. Did I like totally rip her leg off? Um, nearly. Your your axe Axel's is embedded blade. like in the back of her leg. By the way, she's like she's half fae. Um, I'm okay with this. Anybody else okay with this? <laughs> I'll go ahead and oh, wait, I'll go ahead and show the camera. Block, but she's in your journals. Axel is going to fall to the ground in pain. This humanoid creature has the legs of a bald goat and completely hairless body and a horned head with fine light garments around her. And a fire sword! Oh yeah, that thing. <laughs> Which she didn't get to use because you activated her bloodied and then you killed her. Yeah. Awesome. So who wants the fire sword as Axel? <laughs> Axel's gonna just collapse. Okay. He's had, a, he's had enough for today. He didn't want to use any more power as it was, but that's it. Axel's just... Where's the... Where's the... I'm, where's the prone button? It's the blue one. This oh, one. I have a potion. Thank you. I couldn't click on it for some reason afterward. Oh. Do we still have potions? Uh... You might. Uh... <laughs> you have one. Dan and Axel do not. They use theirs just okay, before the fight. So so I walk over to Axel and give him a potion. Uh, are you gonna oh, leave? You. Are you gonna leave the body I don't, out I don't there? I do it right now. Leave the body out there. Dra Dan, uh, Dan says to. Uh, I'll just drag, I'll drag it. Into, I'll drag it in with us. Drag it in by the hair, <laughs> like yeah. a barbarian. I, 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 just, I have got my axe in one hand, dragging it along the floor, and the hair of her in the other hand, and I just drag, and then. And. I'll slide that that way. Um, oh, let me put one of these on it. As Axel's eyes bleed out, or er, just a little bit, he sees Huckleberry jump into the sky, into the snow, and he gets woozy. He falls onto his butt in exhaustion, and then onto his back, and he turns, and he sees... A victorious little gnome dragging behind him <laughs> this blue-haired demon in fine garments that are getting ruined against the snow and rock of the cave. And, and that's where we'll end today's session. Woo! I wanted to give him a potion. No. No, Axel refuses it for right now. He doesn't need it. <laughs> Axel's Axel's just gonna sleep for like the next three days. Thank you. He's in the <laughs> players coming. for playing. Thank you, watchers, for watching. And we will see you guys next time. Yay! Bye! Bye!